Thank you very much. Today I will be talking to you about our platform for lipid nanoparticle uh, delivery for the multi-step engineering of gene-edited CAR T-cells. And first off, I'd just like to say also it's a huge pleasure to be here. Uh, tremendous opportunity uh, to be here with the community as part of the Danaher family. And really, um, you know, with scientists and folks that have been in this industry for decades, years and decades, and long before we ever called it genomic medicine. So Precision Nanosystems, we're a global leader in end-to-end -end nanoparticle uh, solutions. We're headquartered in Vancouver, Canada, and uh, we work with hundreds of uh, RNA and nanoparticle-based companies that um, develop uh, really the future of medicines and genomic medicines, and really proud of the impact uh, that this field is, is making. So genomic medicines is the combination of nucleic acid plus delivery. And for us, that means nanoparticle delivery systems. Here you can see a very typical lipid nanoparticle RNA uh, product, whereby the RNA would be the active pharmaceutical ingredient, and the synthetic lipids or polymers make up the nanoparticle delivery system, the excipients. These would be about 70 to 100 nanometers in diameter, comprising of tens to hundreds of thousands of molecules that need to self-assemble to create this drug product. And these are very useful uh, for in vivo drugs, things like our COVID RNA vaccines uh, very much look like this, as well as other drugs that were talked about today, like on Patro for uh, systemic liver delivery. And what I'll talk about today is also their use in ex vivo applications uh, for uh, multigenetic manipulations of cells, primary cells for applications in cellular therapy. So at Precision Nanosystems, we really try to enable uh, drug developers to create these, these important medicines. And so we really focus around developing the full uh, stack of technologies required to make nanoparticle deliver drugs. Uh, in our genomic medicine toolkit, we have our manufacturing platform, which is a, a microfluidic based continuous flow manufacturing platform. We have our lipid nanoparticle drug delivery platform, which I'll talk about today for the delivery of RNA and a na nascent um, genomic payload platform around uh, the development of, of self-amplifying RNA technologies. And we couple that with our drug development expertise. And then we package these technologies into, um, uh, into we can go to the next slide, please, into a suite of, of products and services that really try to solve problems deeply, deep problems through the full drug development paradigm, all the way from discovery through preclinical development uh, through, through scale-up clinical and, and eventually into commercial, including our, 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 our manufacturing technology through our systems, our consumables, um, our delivery technologies through our, our reagents, and our, um, our expertise through our contract services. And so with that, I really wanted to uh, highlight um, a, uh, yeah, a, a technology and some of the technology development that we'll do in enabling new, new delivery. And we talked a little bit about the need for this today. Uh, and this is really around uh, gene editing and delivery in human primary T cells uh, using a proprietary and, 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 and specific formulation to enable delivery of RNA into these primary T cells. And this is very adv advantageous potentially over um, uh, current methods in that you get highly efficient uh, delivery to have expression of your protein or your gene editing. Also, highly viable cells, so extremely low to toxicity with this approach. It's very, also very scalable to go from small scale testing uh, through to the clinic. And then uh, we try to make it be as easy as possible for our users to take the technology either in easy to use kits or licensable technology uh, into the clinic. So first off, uh, what we really want to demonstrate and develop um, formulations that would allow us to uh, deliver mRNA into T cells, and to do this with high efficiency and high cell viability for, the, for protein expression. And here we're demonstrating a, a CD19 CAR uh, expressing on a primary T cell delivered through a mRNA lipid nanoparticle. We're comparing this in this data towards uh, electroporation as compared to the LMPs. And here we can see that we get, um, uh, and looking both at 24 hours and 48 hours post uh, post transfection, so we get extremely high uh, transfection efficiency, over 80 percent with the nanoparticle based approach, uh, and much higher than say the the electroporation based approach. And looking at the flow data, you can also see you get a much more uh, mon um, mono uh, dispersed population of that transfection. And importantly, 
in E and F uh, on, the, on the right, you can see much less toxicity. And this is extremely important as we think about developing cell therapies where we want to do um, multi-genetic uh, uh, manipulations, either in parallel or in sequence. We also took this technology to, in, to demonstrate um, uh, gene knockout using CAS, CRISPR-Cas9 system uh, with high efficiency and high cell viability. So here we're knocking out the TCR gene. This is important if we're thinking about allogeneic-based uh, therapies. And uh, to do this, we're, we're taking the uh, mRNA to express the Cas protein as well as the RNA guide, uh, co-encapsulating them into a, a nanoparticle at equal weight ratios. You can see a very uh, good dose response uh, with the data, both in the, in the bar and the, and the flow data histogram, as well as low toxicity. Importantly, we can also do this uh, in, in multiple targets at the same time. So this was done to knock out both the TCR as well as the CD52 genes uh, in, in, the, uh, in the T cell uh, with these uh, delivered to the T cell at the same time. Here for the double gene knockout, we're getting a 65% uh, knockout uh, as shown here, and then also uh, extremely high viability. Putting this all together, uh, we demonstrated the ability to do uh, a gene knockout followed by a car expression using mRNA. In this data, we do a single gene knockout. You can see in panel A, the workflow which consists of delivering the, uh, the, 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 um, uh, the guide and the, and the CAS mRNA to knock out the TCR, followed by cellular expansion over about a, a week's time, and then a, a TCR positive depletion, so ne a negative selection, and then uh, delivery of the mRNA car uh, to have it expressing the car, CD19 car, and then we uh, co-culture these with a CD19 positive uh, sub uh, B15, so for a, a B cell killing assay. In uh, quadrant B, you can see the data here where we're able to get over 70% of, um, uh, of, the, of the car, um, uh, car uh, t sorry, of the TCR knockout, and then we further demonstrate the, the, the TCR positive depletion to get a population of 100% knockout cells. Uh, in C, you can demonstrate then, you can see the, um, uh, the percentage of CAR, uh, of the TCR positive um, uh, CAR expression here. And we do see a difference between the, the, the um, or sorry, the CD19 CAR. You do see a difference with the TCR positive versus TCR negative cells. And this has to do with the activation and the biology of what happens when you knock out the TCR gene, uh, but it's, it's, it's gene specific. And then in our killing assay, we get uh, very good killing uh, with, these, with, these, um, uh, with these CAR T cells. Importantly also, this technology is scalable, and this is very important, allowing you to uh, very rapidly go from your discovery phase through to your, to your larger scale um, uh, testing and into the clinic. And here we show uh, the, um, uh, the, uh, the CAR T cells cultured both in a 48 well plate as well in a flask as well as in a bioreactor. And here you can see the, uh, the, um, the expression as well as the cell viability is maintained as we go through those, the scale up process uh, with this te technology. Now, we've demonstrated here the ability for nanoparticle delivery in T cells very important. We also have specific formulations in each of vaccines in gene ther vaccine development. So this is intramuscular de delivery, antigen present presentation. In gene therapy, this is systemically delivered to the liver, as well as in cell therapy, and actively working with many groups in each of these areas. And with that, I think I'm complete. Thank you very much. Thank you.